No, I wasn't always an author, but I knew that that was what was missing from my life. I was having a great time doing this public television travel series called Traveling Light. In fact, we had been shooting an episode in uh, Lucerne, Switzerland, and there was a sculpture there, a monument, that Mark Twain called one of the most moving pieces of rock in the world. It's a dying lion with a spear broken off in its side, and uh, it's called the Lion of Lucerne. And I thought, wow, I really like the alliteration of that. And I thought the Lions of Lucerne would be a great book title someday if I write a book. So I'm in this piazza in Italy with my wife, and we're having a glass or two of wine, and we have this conversation, what would you regret on your deathbed never having done? And for me, that was an easy question. I would regret never having written a novel and getting it published. So we get to the last leg of our journey uh, on this honeymoon in Europe, and there are a wonderful brother and sister from Atlanta, Georgia, who we're sharing the train compartment with. And their names are Cindy and Rob, and Cindy and I have this love of books, and we spend the entire night talking about books. So we arrive in Amsterdam, and we're saying our goodbyes, and we go to trade business cards, and I look down, Cindy's a sales rep for Simon & Schuster. And she tells me, when your manuscript's done, I would love to read it. And if I can help you at Simon & Schuster, I would be happy to do it for you. So I couldn't believe this. I, I still have her card, the original card she gave me to this day. I say that my books are a cross between international thrillers and political thrillers. I think my love of international travel has actually made me a better author because I'm always immersing myself in other cultures, I'm learning about new things, and I think it's really helped me push the edge with, with the kind of books I write. One of the worst pieces of advice that I think writers get is write what you know. If that was the case, if that was really good advice, you never would have had a Tom Clancy. You never would have had a Ray Bradbury. I always like to tell people, I think you should write what you love to read. A great book really does transport you. You lose track of time and where you are. And you know it's a great book because it sticks with you long after you close it. And when, when you end that book, it's like, like losing a good friend.